hi guys today we're gonna look at how to dealing with the joins in in MVC application so first of all I key I open visual studio kindly subscribe my channel to get the latest videos and hit the bell icon in the previous video I have created my first MVC app in which I have created one one table and perform create read update and delete operations now I will create a another table which will be linked with the foreign key from the first table and we will perform some operations on that so I, I will request you guys to watch my previous videos so I will open the project created in the first video my first MVC app the download link is also available in the description of the video So first of all I will go to the database and then create our new table. The table will be linked with the existing table with the foreign key. So right click on tables, click add new table. I will create a table with the name subject I will make this ID as auto increment starts from 1 with increment of 1 and I will create some other columns in it Subject name, data type, what uh, 50, allow nulls, and I will also create student ID column, int type, not allow null. So these are the two columns which I have added and I will link the student ID column with the students table for that purpose we have to click on foreign keys I right click on foreign keys and click add new foreign key I rename it fk underscore subject underscore student <coughs> now I will mention the column name which is student ID of this table is referred to student table with column name ID so this script will create another table with the column ID which is auto increment primary key with the column subject name which is words are 50 with the student ID not null and the student ID is constrained as a foreign key from student table so now I will execute this script to execute this script I will click on update button and now I will click update database so script is ex executed successfully 
now we are we are done with the database so the next part is open our entity framework model and click right click on that and click update model from database it will add our new table in the entity framework model so I will select it it will add subject table to our model and click finish once we are finished with adding the new table into our entity framework model we would like to rebuild our solution so that the effects will be reflected in the controller section so our table is added into the model which is linked with the student table now I will build a solution After the solution is rebuilt, I will add a controller for our new table. The table is now linked with the student table. So we will see how the Visual Studio will handle the joins here. So now I will right click on controllers. I will go to add. and then select controller now I will select MSC5 controller with views using entity framework so when we select this option and press add button now we have to mention the exact generated class for our table which is subject class so test db entities class will remains the same i will use a layout page and the controller name will be subjects controller so i click on add now visual studio will add controller plus the views for all the actions inside controller As you see there is a subjects controller created with the actions index which will list the subjects details which will provide the details of individual subject a HTTP get method for create and HTTP post method for create get method when the create view is loaded and a post method when the create view is submit it same like edit got also a post for edit and delete so these all actions are auto generated by visual studio but the difference for the subject table is it includes student in it it is related to student with a foreign key so that's why in this video we are mostly talking about giants now I will run my project go to my index controller of 
in the section of subjects controller I have to write this controller name and then the action name so currently there is no data inside it I will add I will click create new I will select English I got two students for gone and John which are shown in the drop down I will click create I will add another subject for for, for another student so in this way we can have a visual studio feature for our listings creating the data editing the data and deleting the data so we have we have gone through the joins of tables in our today's video I will upload the videos in which I will create the individual views and actions without using visual studio entity framework feature i will create them manually so kindly subscribe to my channel and be notified when i upload that video thanks for watching